Good afternoon. Uh, first worksheet we're going to be working on is um, this one right here. It's called Simplifying Each, is, each Expression. There's um, adding like terms, keeping unlike terms separated, as well as you'll see some distribution questions on there as well. Uh, pretty much covering what we went over on the video on the board. So this is the first of two worksheets. This is the easier one. I'm going to be doing the odd ones and then I'll let you do the even ones and see if you guys get the correct answers for those at a later time. So starting with number one, we notice that we have 10x minus 8x plus 2 plus 10. I'm going to focus on the like terms with the variables. The 10x minus the 8x, 10 minus 8 is 2. Make sure you include your variable so you get 2x. And then positive 2 plus 10 is positive 12. And there's my final answer. Notice it's two terms, and we call that a binomial. Question number three. Um, notice the three is on the outside. We have parentheses, so the right away that tells me I need to distribute the three to the m and a three to this minus five. So we do this by multiplication. So three times m gives us three m minus three times five, which is 15. Now, I just add the plus m at the end. Now I look for terms that are the same. So like terms, I have 3m. And in front of this m by itself is a hidden 1. We call that 1m. So now 3m added to a positive 1m gives us 4m. So the m's are done. And then I just have this minus 15 at the end. And that will be my final answer, 4m minus 15. Again, another binomial two terms. Number five, 8c minus 4 minus 2c plus 5. I'm going to look for the c's first. I have 8c here and a minus 2c here. So 8 minus 2 is 6. Now include my variable. So the c's are done. Then I have a minus 4 plus 5. That is a plus 1. So there's my final answer there. Hopefully you guys are getting these ready as I follow along. Okay, hopefully you can understand and see what I'm doing in each question. Number seven, we have 15 plus four parentheses, five y minus 10. Again, notice the parentheses, so I'm going to distribute the four to the five y and the four to the minus 10. Start out with 15 first, plus, 4 times 5 is 20. Remember to include your variable y. Minus 4 times 10 is 40. Now go through, find the variables first. All I have is a positive 20y, so I'll put that out front. And then I have 15 minus 40. That gives us minus 25 when I put those two terms together. And there is my final answer. All right, just a couple more questions. Then I'll let you guys do the even ones. And I'll give you a few minutes to work on those. And then uh, you can pause the video and look up those answers. All right, number 9. 12n minus 2n are my only variables. So I'm going to put those together because they are like terms. That gives me 10n. And now I have three numbers. A negative 8, a positive 10, and a minus 4. So let's go negative 8 plus 10 is positive 2. I'm going to write that on the side. Positive 2. Then I have this minus 4 at the end. So if I add those together, it'll give me a minus 2. And that'll be my final answer then. 10n minus 2. Some of you may have this for a final answer. 10n plus a negative 2. Both of those are correct answers. It just depends on how you would like to write it, either with a minus 2 or with a plus negative 2. Last question. Uh, notice the parentheses, so I'm going to distribute the 4 to the 2b and the 4 to the positive 2 first. 4 times 2b is 8b. 4 times 2 is positive 8. And then I have my minus 3 at the end. Put together like terms if we have them. 
Um, I do have an 8b, so that is the only variable in the expression. And positive 8 minus 3 is positive 5. So there's my final answer. Notice all of our answers are binomials, all simplified through. Just depends on your style. Notice there's not a lot of work, just a little bit of work to help you off. Uh, don't be afraid here. What I call this little bit here, I call that scratch work. But she's happy now. That you can very simply put some numbers on the side of your paper, adding them together or subtracting them to get an answer in your expression. Now take a few minutes, try 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Uh, pause the video, and then we'll take a look at a few of these as well. Thank you.